What is going on, everybody? Uh, uh, oh, oh. That was a day, and I need to blow things up. Let's do this. As usual, the channel is chasing geekdom. Normally, as I've said many times, I'm out in the world covering comic conventions and theme parks and themed race events like the Star Wars Half Marathon. I do these things when the world is normal, it's broken right now. So in the meantime, I'll be plopping down here, playing a little Fortnite, I'm talking about those same things, usually. But instead of having Disneyland behind me, it's, you know, some Marvel business in Fortnite. I've been doing something a little bit different um, recently. I'm going through building a uh, bracket style, you know, NCAA Sweet 16 brunch madness. I'm on a search for my most desired hungover brunch guest from all my favorite TV shows and movies. So i um, going through one title each stream and putting them against each other. I have some criteria, and I'll go over that later. Um, and uh, yeah, I call it Brunch Madness. Yes, I am proud of my little graphics. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit. I usually like to play around first and uh, kind of lay the groundwork of, of what I'll be doing and um, my criteria, why I do it. Um, there is actually, to me, a good reason for it. But uh, it's up for debate if anyone else agrees with that. Um, but I do, you know, since I uh, talk a lot about what I'm usually doing out in the world, um, I built a little trailer um, just to give you a peek into what I'd be normally doing right now um, if I was out in the world and here it is. Okay then. That's what I'm usually doing. It's a little loud. They do like their uh, little theme music, trailer music, to be loud here in the uh, in the good old Fortnite. Um, yeah, so that's usually what I'm up to. Uh, now, so today we're going to be talking about again Flight of the Concords and uh, doing a little brunch madness with Brett and Jemaine and and all of the peeps. I'm going to go as far back as Coco. Maybe Sally. It's been a minute since I've watched this show, so remembering things. We'll start with Sally, I guess. And I usually like to go backwards through um, the smaller bit of the cast and get into the main cast. So I'll hop into a round here, and then we can talk about criteria and part of that is why I do it 
And uh, once again, because I want to show off the little things I made because I love them so much, it's Brunch Madness. I love it. So, um, the criteria is there are three things, three main things, and then there's like special sauce that maybe they, they add, you know, on top of it all that makes them win or get into the finals or whatever. Um, get a little picture of Batman hanging out above this thing. Yay. Um, first thing is, in, and we're talking about a hungover brunch guest for me. Okay, I know there's, there's no universal best, you know, that everyone's going to agree on. Uh, but I do welcome, you know, arguments for the characters once we've kind of laid the groundwork and you understand what I'm looking for. Because I'm not, I'm not 20, okay? Like, I don't, I don't recover hella quickly the next day. And I'm older, and so I'm just, so I've been an early onset curmudgeon, self, self-diagnosed, um, since I was like 18, so. Number one is going to be the energy level. So the next day, it can't be too hyperactive. Um, and my example that I'll usually give there is like, you know, uh, uh, Peter Parker. As you think of Tom Holland, you're like, yeah, that, that kid's going to be too much the next day, right? Um, and on the other end of the spectrum, I don't want anyone to like comatose it. It seems like the microphone is a bit... Loud, but I can just move it away from me. That might be better. How about that? There we go. Um, Miss Kate from Lost. You know, someone who like I, when I when I thought about her in this, did I put a marker anywhere? I did not. Let's see where we end up. Um, and I do pretty. I chill out and kind of let people take each other out this first round, just because I need to like lay the groundwork for the competition. And uh, I'll jump into some the, the fray um, future rounds when I drop in once I kind of get the ball rolling on this debate. Um, yeah, so like I was thinking like Kate from Lost, you'd probably be kind of still kind of loud, isn't it? Um, kind of wrecked too much so because there's so much bleakness in her life that, you know, like I just assumed she'd be someone who would be a little too wrecked and, and I'd be concerned, you know, like I'd be in the more of the, are you all right, kind of stage than I am just a chilled out um, brunch stage. I don't like that they've randomized the, the loot. They randomized the normal people loot. They did not normalize the stupidly overpowered Doctor Doom stuff that whoever ends up getting ends up winning. I am going to be complaining about Fortnite during this stream. There's no stopping it. Alright, yeah, give, give me a something to shoot at people and I'll get out of here. Alright. Now, um, so somewhere that falls kind of in between those two. Um, energy levels, you know, and uh, so that's number one. Number two, oh, shoot, I'm trying to talk here. Let's see what else we got. Good, anything good? Ooh, wait, did I? Eh. Should I go to the lake house? Where am I at here? No, and I keep going to retail. So, number two is, are they going to be good and kind and? gracious and all of that with the service people that work there because you know I'd want someone who would be kind of an ambassador for me because I want to be that I'd want to be overtly thankful and gracious and all of those things but when I'm in that state I'm afraid it may not always come across and then later on like I'd feel it inside but I don't know if I'd be able to express it and I need someone who could do that for me and uh what do we got here? I don't want to use this guy. Anyone? Anyone want 
the fight. Um, and because you know later on I'd end up feeling guilty, so I need someone to deflect all of that like from me, so that I can just relax. Also, so the social anxiety because depending on how many people are around, I I get that. Uh, if it's too many people and I feel like I owe them anything socially, it's stress stressful to me. If it's too many people, if it's a small group, I'm okay. But anything over ten, uh, I'd rather not. Um, I hope I have my chat settings correct. Anyways, um, what's that? Should I get him with this guy? I hear someone. And uh, the third thing is, would they be interested in this kind of debate? Like, literally, this kind of talking about fictional characters from fandoms, putting them in scenarios, that kind of thing. Because this is the kind of thing that I put my mind on when I'm tired, when I have post-work mush brain, um, when I'm hungover, when I'm, you know, all of those things. Because I do it so that it in an effort to put my mind in a more creative state, kind of take me out of whatever funk that I might be in and put me into something that will help me capitalize on the rest of the day so that it's not a complete waste. And uh, so that's kind of the reason why I do um, this sort of thing. Like tonight, is, today was a day. I, I, I can't even work. Whoa. I mean, yeah. So. That's why I do it. It kind of pushes my, my brain into another thing and not just to like recover, but I also like, I want as much of the day as possible, even the bit, little bit you do have after work to be um, taken advantage of in some way that's mine and productive and creative that kind of thing so anyways someone who can do that um so those are the, did i do the three things yeah energy level interested in this kind of conversation understand the why they're doing the thought experiment and could contribute and then also being kind and good to the service staff and all that stuff and then of course there's a possibility that maybe they'll be able to add you know something a little extra you know to the table and that's usually what will get someone from either into the finals or from the finals into the win. Or good old brunch madness. There's someone down there. Should I shoot at them? It's not a really good long range weapon, so why are they just jumping up and down in one spot? Are they just looking for a fight? I can I can help you there. See I like to close the gap. I wanna close the gap. I like to close the gap. I like to close the gap. I like to close the gap. See because they run when you close the gap. Jimmy, something or other, you put up a good fight. But I close the gap and I won. You'll hear me say that a lot. I close the gap. I used to be a big baby and run away and hide and all this. And then my god kids, they just instilled some, some bravery in Fortnite, if that's a thing, in me. Because they the, they're the ones that like, they jump out of the the battle bus. And they follow everyone else to just brawl. And I'm like, whoa. I like a medium of that now. Where I don't like to go recycle through the lobby into the battle bus into the fray. With that, and over and over and over again. I want to like some time to explore. And I also want enough of a battle to like feel like I have earned whatever win I get. I don't have yet have a goal number in mind for like solo wins for the season. I gotta get a, I still gotta get a better feel for it, especially with those overpowered weapons. Out and about, where is everyone? Come on, people. Let's fight. Yeah, so I guess I can jump in to the cast and start this good old brunch madness. I'm going to take a look and see. I'm going to 
they're usually pretty bad at keeping an eye on chat places. Oops. Oh, my favorite. Give me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think this is a lot's gonna go down here because people are gonna come chill out. Uh, do I want to deal with the car right now? I don't know if I have a choice. Come on, buddy. Come through the door. Come through the door. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. I had the jump on Princess Cat 11. That's a bummer. <laughs> Alright. I also want a quest to find... Not stupid gamer tags. Like things that don't read like binary. Every once in a while you get an anonymous. I'm pretty sure those are bots. I don't know like if what the difference is there, but most of them are like they really are committed to having Bill as their name. So then because Bill is such a unique name. They have to bill seven four three five seven eight nine two niner, and it just looks like it just there are an infinite number of like words and combinations of things that you can do without making it look like your gamer tag is in, in binary. But anyways, we're talking about flight of the Concord snap, and just to, just as a reminder for brunch madness. Um, we're going to start with, let's start with those two. Start with Sally. Yeah, let's start with Sally. So I was going to put them against each other, but we're not there yet. Sally was the one who, this is going to be tough, but it's been a while since I've watched that show, but Sally was the one that dated both of them. I think in the pilot, she was already the ex of one of them and started dating the other. She was the ex of Brett, started dating Jermaine. Right? Anyways, she was the, the bounce between her. A serial, a serial dater lady. You know? I mean she's hey, she's looking for she's looking for a partner. Energy level. I think that those characters were all supposed to be in their like what, late twenties? So that seems that seems about right. Like that seems kind of right on the cusp of, um, and it can depend also on the on the character. So did I put it? I didn't. I forgot which direction we were into. I'll fight a little more today. I think. I actually did this while playing Rogue Company, so I think I can pull it off. I want to go to the farmhouse. I think. Curious about those um, Stark Industries little things that keep expanding their little signal there. I keep imagining it's like the result of a conversation between Tony Stark and Thor, where like Thor's going on about how cool the the Bifrost is, and Tony's like, "I can make one," and then like, "There you go, you have these things." <laughs> um, anyways, so we're talking about Sally. Ah, oh, someone's already there. Dang it. Uh, uh, I'm going in there anyway. Is that dumb? That's probably dumb. But I'm going to be sneaky. Sort of. Is there... Are you, uh, am I being sneaky sneaky? I am. But did they leave anything for me? You son of a biscuit maker. Oh, I'll get him with a fishing pole. Let's try it. It's one thing I haven't done yet in a fight. Oh, I got a gun. Thank goodness. Okay. I have to be quiet. So anyways, we're talking about Sally. Fly of the Concords. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Thanks for leaving me something. 
Alright, now I've got, like... Sally? Yeah, okay. Energy level, I think so. I think she's... In the stage of life where... I mean, they're still partying. You know, they go to a few, I think, in some of those episodes. I really need to rewatch that show. Um, and so I think she'd be in the right the right spot. You know, I think she she's not going to be that overly recovered, too young, kind of energetic Peter Parker type. And she's not in a bad state in life or anything. You know, she seems to have her stuff together. Um, so she won't be like comatose. So that's you could check that basic level off, and she's she's still or she's still in the in the in contention. Again, post work mush brain. I'm working through it. I do this to push myself out of it, but I will not guarantee that I'm going to make sense. A lot of gibberish comes out of this mouth after work is done because it breaks me. Um, and I will not apologize for singing. So, scenario two is, would she be good to the wait staff? I think on a fundamental level, yeah. I don't think she's got, like, care and energy or anything about her. I think there's a reason why so many people are drawn to her romantically. I think it's I don't know if it's genuine or not but she's got but she's not super great about being thoughtful about friends and dating someone's ex and all that kind of stuff but I'm surprised I'm able to pull off getting all this gathering all this stuff um, but I think in a short quick type setting and that kind of thing She'd be able to be, put the correct charm in the right places and all that, and could probably take the wheel. But we won't get to that aspect just yet. I am kind of... Nope, give me the revolver. I'm committed to, like, short, like, close-up battle getting someone with this revolver. Because I think it's supposed to be pretty powerful. So I'm going to hang on to this. Probably not very effective over a long distance, though. Maybe it is. I don't know. Eh, I'll give it a shot. I'm not super ambitious a bit about like how many wins this season yet, because I just don't have a full, a good feel for the ins and outs of it yet. Anywho, um, Sally, yeah. So I think on that level, she's good. Would she be interested in this conversation? She didn't strike me as, I'm not going to say an intellectual, maybe a little intellectual, but not a creative so much, although she did date a lot of creatives. What was the guy that she was with after, like, when they ended up at her? I think it, he, I think what was emphasized in that episode was, like, she was with the Beefcake Australian after having been with the, like, silly New Zealand guys, you know, silly New Zealand creatives, so I don't know if that was necessarily a reason she was ever with them to begin with. Um, but yeah, she doesn't strike me as, like, overly creative, but, like, would we have... I think she may still have the conversation not be opposed to it, but I don't know if there's going to be a lot of common ground when it comes to topics. Because I can I can connect in, with a lot of people. Like, my interests cover a lot of ground, but it would need to be character-driven things. And it seems like every time I reset or restart this computer, it seems to, like, jack with my... Uh, OBS kind of the filters for this microphone, so I hope it's not like obnoxiously loud or weird or anything. Now that I'm out in the open, I'm gonna stick with the weapon that I know until I get up close with someone. Let's go fight someone. So Sally, I don't know. I, I think that she. I don't know. 
like there was there were, there's not enough there in in her character that I remember especially that indicated that she'd be into character driven stories enough for us to be able to bait them in this way you know like she'd probably think it was clever and like oh that's fun kind of surface level kind of thing but oh yeah that's the only way to build I think I will take that oh, yeah. so because of that I don't know I don't I don't yeah I don't think Sally's gonna make the list so we'll move on from her and we can move on to Coco Coco was cool I liked her I had no way, I don't know much about musical theater, uh, the theater world, so I didn't know, like, I wasn't one of those that saw that, like, like oh my gosh, Sutton Foster from, I, I still don't know what she was in, but, like, I looked it up afterwards, I'm like, oh, okay, it makes sense that she's very talented, because didn't she win Tony's, I think, or something? Um... But I just thought, I mean, it, it, what impressed me after I found out about that, um, that she had been in um, in theater, musical theater, is that you would never know it from her performance in that show because it was so understated. So she really adapted to the format. I don't know if she had had experience on camera before, but it's so different because I've done both, you know, worked on camera and both been in, like, been in theater and so vastly different so because I had I'm like I really dig this performance and then went back and was like okay so she's a, a, a renaissance person um, she can kind of do it all um, okay but we can look at the criteria though so number one energy level I think most of the characters in this show would are in the right state Age is a tough thing to talk about. It's in the right stage of life. Is that? I think that's about. I think that's right. Good to say. Okay, I think I'm armed up. I take that. I'll take that. All right, let's go find a fight. Um. And Coco. She was a. What do we know about her? I think I think she was right energy level. Yeah, she's very. She's gonna be in that like middle range, just kind of chill, not overly energetic and not comatose. She seemed like she had her stuff together overall. Um, she would be definitely be kind to the to the ways that she was like that character was very sweet. Um, It'd be interesting to see her in a role where she wasn't so. I always like to see like the range on people. She's like like a like a punk someone. But anyways, um, anyone like is there someone who would like to for fighting me, please? Hello, 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 hello. Okay, I'll just get some cardio in. So, anyways, Coco. Um, yeah, I do think she'd be... That doesn't... Okay, so someone abandoned their little taxi. I've got 18 left and I have not come across another soul. And I'm sure the first one I do is going to have those doom hands. Alright, let's 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 just head back and see if anyone's over here. Um, I think, yeah, she would... Be very kind to them. I think she's the type that would take the wheel, you know. Um, I think she'd be kind of the kind that would like, kind of like a um, Inora, Inara from Firefly would be up. This kind of can read people and would be able to read me and the situation well enough to be like, yeah, I think I should take over here. You know, it's like the kindness kicking in um, and just awareness of. situation like for real where is everyone anyone up here that wants to fight upstairs folks anyone catch me off guard give me a jump scare or something all right um so 
energy level, and in that I think definitely would she be interested in this conversation. I don't, I don't know that we see enough to know for sure. But is it weird to say that she struck me as a creative? Someone... You get the vibe. Where are you at? What, what weapon is that? What weapon is that? What do you have? What are you firing at me? Something that has good range, but I'm going to close the gap. I'm going to close the gap. Come on, keep running at me. Yeah, thank you. Double plus something. Hey, good job for not having numbers in your name. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. Anyone else want to fight me? Thank you. Um, I think so. I mean, it's it's there's not a like overwhelming evidence or I don't. I, it's been a while, but I think Coco would be. Maybe I'm. I'm literally just running around waiting for someone to shoot at me. Hey! What is that? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? I get you. X. Hey. Oh, I couldn't get your name, dude. That was too fast. Okay. Did they get me? Oh, they took a chunk out, didn't they? Eh. If I die, I die. I'm not worried about it. There's always another round. So, there's someone. I see you and you see me. Oh, they had a better gun than me for sure. Dreamix. Good name. See, add a bunch of X's. That's better than random numbers, right? I like your outfit, buddy. So I think, yeah, I'm going to assume yes for Coco. Just because... She strikes me as someone who would have, like, be a creative and have common ground when it comes to enough interest. Because again, mine span so much that I think I could find something. I think pre preliminary. I think we'll put Coco on the list, and I have to write it down just so I remember because I always forget. And I have a graphic for the first sixteen bracket tournament bracket from the first sixteen movies and TV shows I went through, and I made it. So that one's already locked in, but I want to make another one, and then have, and I kind of then go through them, um, just to have a seat Batman. And I'll post that somewhere at some point. Um, so this is going to be the first character um, to go on the second tournament bracket. Coco. All right, so we've gone through those two. It's a small cast, but we'll go through these. Oh, Doug. Poor old neglected Doug. That Mel's, yeah, Mel's uh, husband. <laughs> Mel, who was obsessed with Brett and Jermaine. Doug, uh, Doug, Doug, Doug. Energy level-wise, the next day. It, he's mm, are you family friendly? Yes. I mean Yeah, I think that's I have that on there. So I do try to keep thank you for asking. Um keep the the cursing and stuff just because I got kids maybe watching. I never know when they are or not. Um but I don't know how Twitch polices that, if I say shit or ass, but keeping them kind of, I guess, minor cuss words, keeping things kind of PG-13 content-wise. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, but thank you for asking. Um, but yeah, I will. If that's already been offensive, I apologize. <laughs> um, I... Uh, Usually, uh, the A word or whatever is like the only thing that may usually slip out. If that makes sense. But still kind of getting a feel for it. I don't know. I used to think that the God Kids were asleep by like nine. And then I was playing this and uh, 
I noticed that the 11 year old was still playing because usually I'd hop on later because when I get on I get the invites from them and I usually want to play solo when I'm streaming and um, I was just like I saw that and I almost texted the parents <laughs> like do you know she's online right now playing but I was be cool just be cool anyways um, so hopping back into it or old Doug Doug is he's sad and when he comes to that energy level it's I don't think it's just gonna be due to having tied one on too much or being too hyper it's like Peter Parker you know he's recovering a lot quicker because of his young age which would rule him out for me for a hungover brunch time because it'd be too hyperactive and then the example usually is Kate Austin I assume that she just because of the place she is in her life uh, or what we see of her mostly in Lost is like I would assume she just have done too much and I'd be too worried about that but I think that if you look at someone like Doug he's 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 a sad dude. And I think that could push him into that too low of an energy level thing the next day. But we can we can keep going through it and see like where he is, apply the rest of the criteria, you know, show my work. Um and uh so that's a maybe on the, the energy level, but as far as being good to the weight staff, I think he'd be good, but I think he might be a little off-putting, just because he's he seems like a guy who people are going to worry about hurting, like he gives off that energy, and I think that they they're already working. I don't think that need to worry about hurting someone's feelings, you know? Um, like, let's, let's, let's be delicate with this guy kind of thing. It's like, no, we're, we, I don't really want to worry about that, so. Um, and I think he just gives off that that energy, you know? Um, would he be interested in this type of conversation? Probably. I think that he he strikes me as a Battlestar Galactica guy. You know, and I can talk about BSG, um, for sure. And probably some books and, you know, whether if it's Lord of the Rings, we can talk about the same characters in there pulled from the books and the movies and there's common ground and all that. And I think he, as a, he's an educator, right? Yeah, because he was like a teacher, that professor that Mel ended up dating. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot there. For that because i think he'd get the, the thought experiment like this but yeah see there's like everybody over there trying to get doom hands or doom weapons and whoever it is is going to win this round because they're overpowered anyway um i think i don't think though that those what do i have i should pay attention i never pay attention to my that's one bonus of playing with the god kids is that they pay more attention to like my health and my weapons than I do. I get so easily distracted. I see fireflies and I'm like, oh, and then Batman's over there trying to catch fireflies. Um, sneak attack, anyone? No? I would like this, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll take you. And you know what? I prefer you. Thank you. So these lights out. Less attention. I also have a theory, quickly, on Fortnite's claim that these skins that you buy have no tactical advantage. They give you no tactical advantage. I call BS on that. This is why. There are some examples. If you look at Dark Knight here, if I'm in a shadow from afar, in this skin, hard to see. If I'm in a neon everything, easy to see. So there is a slight tactical 
advantage depending on what you there can be depending on what you wear because i i remember sniping someone through a bush because i could see them because they were glowing they wouldn't have been able to do that like unless you're really good um with me in this outfit but anyways that was tangent tangent number one of 20. um so yeah i don't think with doug i don't think that the common ground we'd find with all of the, the thought experiment and all that would outweigh him being so morose and because that would affect his energy level and it would also affect the experience of the people that are like working there and that's important to me all right you know what let's change clothes how about Call it a doom disguise, but it's... Yeah, I don't want to have to shoot anyone right now, because that'll blow my cover. Yeah, will... Oh, you see me? You don't see me. I'm driving. I love the language that they give these guys. Like... The Marauders last season, it was it's just all this, it's all some sort of gibberish, and it's unique every time. Uh, anyways, so Doug, I don't think so. I don't think so. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to rule my, my homie Doug out. I like that, and how about another one of those? And how about this, real quick? Oops. I have a feeling I'm gonna get wasted by a. It almost sounds like um, it's the dude from Star Wars. It's a trap guy. Are you coming downstairs, dude? No. Okay. Let's just go fight. Um, moving on from Doug. Eugene. You don't get a lot of a peek into who Eugene is in the show, really. He's just like He's their landlord, right? Or like the building manager? I've never been in his house. Let's do. Oh boy, this is scary. Um, should I be here? Uh, anywho, there's gonna be someone patrolling and I'm gonna get so wasted here. Uh, Tight corners are tough in these things because if they brush too close to you. I don't. Oh my gosh. That was easy. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I was going to get Doom Hands for a second. I was like, I almost would pass them up. I don't. That's how strongly I feel about how OP those things are. I just want to brawl. Open field, you know. I don't mind someone having like a gold gun against my gray one, but you know. anyways. So we're talking about Eugene. Eugene was their landlord, building manager, whatever. The guy who was like, because I remember him like running into him in the. Yeah, buddy, you've got a lot to say, but nobody can understand it really. Because that's the point. It's in here. Let's, oh, I can't close that again. I... Huh. Peculiar. I am kind of interested to see what's behind this door. So. Eugene, you don't see a lot, but a lot of him. He's, 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 he's cryptic. I would say cryptic is the word I'm thinking of because he's. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna get stuck in here so bad and not know how to get out. But it's definitely worth it. Oh, never mind. There I am. Oh, look at that. Let's go find a fight. 
Okay, so now we know where this is going to finish. How about... There we go. Let's just go towards the middle. So Eugene's kind of a cryptic dude. I'm not going to say weird, because I mean, we all are in some way. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, he's kind of a cryptic dude and pretty low key. I think energy level next day, yeah, he'd be fine. The way he presents himself, I'll be honest, might be slightly off-putting to people who are like in the hustle and bustle of a morning brunch place. I guess that would depend on where you are. They were in New York. Let's assume we're in New York. Um, so like Seinfeld, I don't think there's going to be a lot of an expectation from service staff of like social interaction or like pleasantries, I guess I should say, because I don't, it, it, it doesn't strike me as a place, at least just from, you know, popular culture or whatever I've seen, because I've never been there, as somewhere that's overly sensitive, you know? Like, the workplace that I'm in right now, it's a lot of very fragile people. You know, there's a whole, like, if you need to give any kind of feedback, even if it's pretty benign, you have to do, like, you have to do the compliment sandwich thing or else, oh, they're going to be so, so, so hurt. But in a very passive-aggressive way where they're just going to hold on to resentment. It's, it's bizarre. And of course, not referring to anybody from work that might end up watching this, obviously, because you're great and you're special and it, and everything. And and this is a safe space. And it's great. It's great. You did a good job. You did a good job always. Should I? Let's get that guy. Oh, he's got the Groot thing. That's another little new... I don't know how overpowered it is, though, so let's go find out. Gonna, gonna protect yourself with that nonsense. Hey, yeah, I jump, I jump, I jump. Oh, yep, he's got both. <gasps> I did it. Should I take them so that no one else can have them, and then not use them? That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's Groot's thing. Oh my gosh, how many things do you have, bro? Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take that. And I'm going to take that, and then I'm not going to use them, and nobody else can. I'm great. I'm a good person. If I use them, it's only going to be by accident. Oh, this is so smart. I'm so proud of me right now. Um, what are we talking about, Eugene? Eugene, would he have this conversation? Oh, there's only two of us left. Aha, you can't beat me with that, so we're going to have to do this. Snipe me right in the ear when I'm celebrating my little victory. Hello. I hear a car. Where are you? Am I going to get run over? I, I can never tell these headphones where things are. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we can keep an eye on him when we talk about Eugene. Eugene... Would he be interested in this conversation? Probably. I don't know if he... I think reference points-wise, we probably have things in common. Um, there's not a lot on paper, I should say, on film, that shows much about him as far as his... Do I care about the high ground, or should I go just hide in a bush? There he is. Well, he's got out of the car, at least. And, you know, we don't have the doom hands, so... Let's see if he's noticed me. There he is. Alright, I'm gonna close the gap. Here we go. Oh, I only have 50 health. That was dumb. Ah, oh, I blew my cover, and... Oh, he's a builder. Come out. I should have held on to those grenades at least, but I was committed to my stupid little experiment. 
Where are you, buddy? Where'd you go? Ah! Oh, I could have had that one. But I didn't lose to the Doom Hand, so that's good. Congratulations. That's ready up. So, yeah, I'm going slowly through this one. Eugene. There's really not enough there to know. It seems like we'd have enough in common to be able to have a conversation, but I think he just seems too low key. That whole this whole vibe is like slow. And while that's good for an energy level, I still would want some level of engagement. Like a back and forth, still, even in that state, because I mean I'm not too different from where I am right now. Slightly, maybe a little bit less um, in that hungover state. I don't know. I'm not articulating why it's a no for Eugene very well. But I think that there just isn't enough there to put him on the list. I don't think. Alright, where am I headed here? I am happy to have taken the Doom Hands out of the game, so I'm glad I lost not using them and someone not using them against me. I'm, I'm fine with that. So we'll move on from, uh, from Eugene. Greg was Murray's boss, I believe, at the consulate. He's another... He's kind of another Doug. There were a lot of low-key characters in that show, because he, he was... He was very kind, but he was super low key. And then I think if Homie was hung over, it might be too much so to the other side, but that's criteria number one, which is iffy, energy level wise. Um would he be good to the wait staff? Absolutely. I mean, he's so nice and tolerant of Murray and all of his mistakes. And he was, he, he reminded me of someone that I know, um, who was, who's like the ultimate, where are we going? How about... let's go to the Ant-Man house. The Ant Manor. That seems fun. Um, I do kind of want to fight more people this time. He's like the ultimate diplomat. There's, It's always an even keel, you know, like all these... There's a lot of us, there, there's a spectrum obviously of being reactionary to things emotionally. Um, and this person has definitely improved me in that way, in that sense, just by being around them. Because it's like, oh, okay, like, when something hits you that you may react to in some way or another, ah, someone's already there. I do want something to fight with before I jump in, so I go to this little house here. Um, you know, take a beat. You know, before reacting. So, like, don't react from the initial stimuli. Just stop for a moment. Take a breath. You know, let whatever bell was rung kind of be unrung? Stop ringing? I know what I mean. And, uh, you know, be a little bit more deliberate in reactions and such. But... But Greg, he doesn't even seem like he has that kind of reactionary thing. He just seems... He may be the most chill person in that show. And uh, that's a good thing. And I think it's a non-off-putting like, kind of relaxed state. A kindness that I think would go well for folks that work in wherever it is that we go. That's important. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 
Are those eggs? Where are you? Are you coming? Are we fighting? Hello? Are we fighting? Hello? 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 Are we fighting? Excuse me. Excuse me, please. I would like to know. Alright, let's... Excuse me. Let's fight. Um, so I think that's good. So in that category, I think he's... A winner. Uh, should I catch fireflies? See, I'm so distracted. Let's watch Batman catch fireflies real quick. Hey, give me it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Batman takes time in nature and such. Um, yeah, good old Greg. I think would he be interested in this kind of conversation? It's hard to say. Again, he's another character where there's not a lot kind of explored about him. He's just shown in, in very tolerant boss capacity. And uh, so it's hard to say. Um, what have we got here? Yes, please, and yes, please. Yeah, there's not a lot there to see. Like, you don't really... I bet he strikes me as podcast guy, but not necessarily character-driven or fictional. You know, like, maybe he listens to crime real true crime podcasts, that kind of thing. I guess there are characters, but they're nonfiction. And I that and an NPR and all that kind of stuff. So I think because he's gonna be a little too on the low key side, because he already is the next day, and it's hard to say if there really is gonna be much to connect on pop culture wise. Um as nice as he is, and as good of a hang, I'm sure. It's hard to say. He's a nice, kind guy, but I don't know how super interesting a, a hang with Greg would be. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to say no, buddy. I'm sure he's super devastated somewhere, but he'd be really nice about it. You can bet on it. All right. There's 27 left. I would like to fight, please. Someone with a cool gamer tag. Like, big tacos, awesome. Without any numbers. No numbers, please. No binary looking gamer tags, please. Thank you. Um, so let's move on. Dave. Oh my gosh. Dave was so freaking weird. Pawn Shop Dave. If you know Fight of the Concords, you know what I'm talking about. Um, well, wow. I mean, he's going to be a no, but I have to show my work. It's going to be a no, but I, I have to show my work. Okay. Energy level-wise, I think he'd be... Mm, he could be, but he... Oh, he's a loose cannon. I think Dave's a loose cannon, and that those are he's unpredictable. Ah, let's head back that way to the middle. Um, oh, I want some. Where are they? I saw you. Just in case, there's that one person who decides they're gonna hang out in their friggin' helicopter until the very end. Um, yeah, Dave. Dave. There's a danger element with Dave. Even though it's silly in the show, I, I still I don't like the idea of 
being uneasy in that way in that kind of setting like and then the example i usually use for that is the reason why i eliminated um Bronn from game of thrones from this because how awesome of a hang would he be and how great would he be in most of these criteria um but think of how worried he might be that a fight was going to break out just because of his personality you know he's just got that sharp tongue and would be just always kind of teetering on the edge of being like yeah i'm ready for a fight you know that's Bron. i think similar i don't think dave's always looking for a fight but i think that there's always some sort of yeah i don't know i don't know um energy level yeah but i think teeters towards the edge of being a little potentially too broken where i'd be concerned would he be good to the wait staff that's also big who knows it depends on what state you have them in what version there's no like reliable like consistent dave state where you're like yeah he'll be he'll be fine and i think the things that he would bring up in conversation with the wait staff because again i would hope that they could kind of take the wheel big question mark there too whether or not they're going to be like it's going to be offensive all right let's fight where are you i see someone that way yeah, there you go that way yep there you are shrimp something or other you had some hey 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 whoever you are you have good aim dude I'm jumping and he's still getting me in the air and stuff. Ooh. All right. He started off like, oh boy, I did not get him very well at all. I only got like a little bit. Anyway. Oh. That was stressful. There was a point where... I was winning too many. It was like, it was becoming too easy to win. What are you throwing, dude? Or I was winning just too many rounds, you know, too many solo matches. And it was like, I was just casually paying attention and it doesn't matter really what weapons I had. And I was like, okay, I'm racking them up. And just kind of got used to that. And then the algorithm seems to kick in. Just if, I think if it sees it consistently, then out of nowhere, everybody that I was playing against was better than me. And that, that oh my gosh, that took me off guard. Um, but it was good, because, you know, it's it keeps me from getting too complacent. Uh, but that was before I started to try to multitask and do this brunch madness thing while I was playing. So, that's the challenge. I like the idea of trying to do this multitasking keeping the mind engaged on a few things while I'm also on this because it just pushes my mind into a spot where again it it helps me take advantage of the rest of the day even if it's just a few hours that's important to me um so we can move on from, from Dave Dave is yeah no he's, he's a loose cannon yeah. that's that's not. Nope. And we're into Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. Kristen Shaw. Who is a treasure. Assuming that's how you pronounce her name. There's so many of these names that you see so much, but you really never have the occasion to hear them spoken. Because um, I don't watch, like, talk shows with interviews and stuff, so I'm assuming it's Kristen Shaw. Let's see. Let's go. Yeah, let's go here. I like the little super sad one 
the lone henchman that's left camping out at the top of the authority. That makes me laugh. Because you get your in there and you hear and it sounds like someone else already there. Yep. Never mind. Let's go anywhere I might be able to quickly find a weapon. Well, this is going to be a short trip. Ah. They're in my spot. Say. Nope. Son of a biscuit. Get. Just give me a gun. Alright. Now I'm ready. Let's fight. Let's fight. at once we were talking about Mel, Christian Shaw's character on Fight of the Conquerors. Let's do this while I fight people in this silly game. Um, energy level. How did they die? Did they like leave the game or something? Are you this way? Where are you? Let's fight. Upstairs, I believe. Sounds almost like they're doing that to get my attention. Or someone's attention. Ooh! That was a close one. That's nice moves that they had, though. That's for sure. I'm very surprised I got out of that. I'm bad at doing what they were trying to do there. Um... I know that they like lost that battle, but that was luck. Oh, did not intend to do that. Multitasking. Um, yeah. So Mel, her obsession with the. Uh, I'm bummed though. I can't kill the last sad little henchman that was up here. Um. Yeah, so Mel. Mel? Hmm. I know that unless I want to talk about Brett and Jermaine, like literally just have, like, well, that may be, I could, I mean, hey, maybe the conversation was just Fly to the Concords. French Madness, and she'd obviously be an authority on that, so I can't rule out that she'd just be, rule her out just because she'd be on a single topic, because that's literally what I'm doing, and that may be what we were talking about, so, yeah, she's, okay, um, energy level-wise, would she be too sprightly the next day? Now, I think we've seen enough of her in the show to where it's not always just her being super on. So I think that's not going to rule her out of being in the in the finals. Would she be interested in this conversation? Absolutely, if we were talking about Brett and Jemaine, which isn't necessarily a deal breaker. This, what am I literally doing right now? Talking about Flight of the Concord. So. Um, would she be good to the wait staff? Inherently kind of basic level, sure. Would she take the wheel, though? No, no I don't want that. Let's go fight some more people. Um, I mean, didn't they? She did host them that one time. It was the 
fan club or whatever, but she was the fan club, and then it got real awkward. Did she walk in on Brett, like, going to the bathroom or something? I can't remember. But that's not, like, her. I mean, that's her being the person that's serving, so... I think that she'd be def she'd be kind, but I think that she'd be so wrapped up in Brett and Jermaine trivia in this conversation that she would see those interactions with service staff as a distraction. That she'd probably be offended. Like, don't you know? Right now, I am trying to talk about the loves of my life, Brett and Jermaine. Kind of like I do here when I'm trying to run around and someone interrupts with something that is naturally something you know supposed to occur like someone fighting me in the game but you're just like ah I'm trying to talk about so I think that might be yeah so energy level probably topically yeah we'd be able to talk about Brett and Jermaine which isn't a deal breaker because that's what I'm doing now, but I think when it comes to the wait staff, because of the fact that she'd be born, it's there we go. It's good timing. Um Yeah. I think she'd be off put by having to do interactions because she'd be so excited to talk about Fred and Jermaine and she'd be going on and Yeah, I think she'd be bothered by the interactions and definitely wouldn't want to have to take the wheel. So I think because of that we'll have to roll Mel out. Still only Coco's on the list. Murray. Murray's, it, Murray's a strong contender. Murray energy level, yeah. Like he's, and he's like Murray's a guy that's eager to connect. So energy level-wise, I think he'd be fine. Yeah, he's in the right stage of life, which includes more things than just age, okay? But not being ageist here. And so yeah, I think he'd be in the right place there energy-wise. Could potentially be, I don't know, is the pump better than the charge? I don't really get, the charge is challenging because it's a close quarters weapon. And it's also one that gives your position away. Because as soon as you hold that trigger down to try to charge it up to get power, it's making that noise and people can hear you coming. So I'm going to just stay away from it. I never really much cared for it. Unless it's like the gold or purple ones that don't require much of a charge to be hardcore. Okay, 22 left and not much of a map, so let's, let's fight folks. I already forgot that I did win that one fight. So Murray, energy level, yeah, it may, would it potentially lean towards too energetic because of his eagerness to, like, connect with people. Nah, I think that may be mitigated by being hungover. So I think he'd be fine there. Would he be good to the white staff? Yes. I think that he's got a built-in kind of kindness and also appreciation for that that industry and the folks that are that are helping him and I think and this speaks to Hmm. Should I? Yes, let's fight. Are you up here? Anyone? No? Alright, I'll take that. This is my favorite gun. But the blue version. I'm just... Where are you? Can you come in this way? Nope. So we're right here. It's there. Up the stairs. Or there. Through the door. Okay. Normally I like to close doors because I like to hear people coming. Let's try it. 
the more I close behind me, the more opportunity there is for like a sound to give them away. Um, yeah, so I think Murray, because he's he's eager to he's eager to connect with people, and not I don't think it's just because he's like insecure or something. Where are you? Or you're outside. Ooh. Did he have a better... Oh, I didn't look at his name. What's his name? Oh, he's got all those numbers. Freaking gibberish. Alright, I definitely need that. I definitely need... Nope. This. Oh, I should have done this first. Dang it. Alright, let's head over here real quick and put this on. Um, yeah, I don't think it's just an insecurity thing. I think he genuinely likes to connect with, with people. And I think because of that, and I think he, he, yeah, let's get some more of that. Slurp. There we go. That's better. What else do I want? I've got you. I've got you. What did he leave behind? That was lucky. Let's see who else we can see. Um, yeah, so I think he would take the wheel. I think it would be, that would be kind of fun to watch, you know, because he's just, I think he'd want to try to, like, I think he'd go out of his way to try to, like, improve their day, which is nice. Um, would he be interested in this conversation? Yes, I do believe so. I think he'd, he would get the thought experiment, the reason behind it, too. Because he seems like he's the guy who was always trying to push as their manager, their exposure and their creative endeavor to another level. And they were always just kind of begrudgingly maybe kind of going along with it. And normally people who... Uh, engage in that kind of like management there's a lot of planning and people who need to plan are very organized um and it just that takes some creativity as well so i think and they have to be fights happening. I don't want you. Yes. So I think, yeah, I, he'd... He'd see the value because it's one of those things that would put his mind in the place where he could Um, get in planning mode again, kind of plotting for conquer. There we go. There we go. Okay, I did it again. He barely friggin' survived. So I'm doing this again, taking these weapons so that nobody else can have them and not gonna use them. Thank you very much for playing. I'm taking your toys and running away with them. <laughs> I'm such the neighborhood like curmudgeon that get off my lawn fella. And that's how I show it. Nobody gets them. I'm not going to use them. Not even to win. Anywho, um, so yeah, I think Murray would be would be awesome. So we'll put him on the list. Is anyone in here? No? No? Alright. Let's do some door closing. Now that we know we don't have to deal with that. I do need some help, don't I? Anything in here? Maybe 
the upstairs. Here. There we go. These have some health in it. Uh, well, that'll do. Yeah, Murray's gonna go on the list. Now we gotta get to Brett and Jermaine, and uh, I gotta make sure to actually write him on the list somewhere at some point. Where's the door? Okay, I'll hang out here for a second before I do that. Um, Murray. Someone still has a pretty decent weapon here, don't they? Alright, let's talk about Brett. There's two of us left, and guess who doesn't have stupid doom stuff? The other guy. And guess who has them and isn't going to use them? That's me, thank you. I took their stupid toys away. Um, Brett. Brett? I think it was uh, Coco that kept thinking he was saying his name was Brit. Um, energy level wise, yeah, I think. So yeah, yeah, I think he'd be he'd be pretty chill. Both of them on that level are gonna be pretty on par. Energy level wise, I think they'd be good to the staff. I think Brett would be for sure. He's just definitely got a real sweetness to him. Um, where are they? Got no shield. Mm, that's a bummer. They're probably all like loaded up. All right. This thing's pressing in, so I'm just going to go in a gun some blazing. Here we go. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? Are you inside of a, a host somewhere? Are you in the host? Hello? Hello? Where are you, buddy? Okay. Yeah, so Brit. Brett, Brett would definitely be, you know, very kind, and I think he's another one that I think could read someone's vibe and get like, okay, I should take over here, and has that real polite politeness to him kind of built in. So that's good. So he, you know, he wouldn't just like be nice and appreciative, but he, you know, take the wheel, which is cool. Where are you, dude? Hello. Let's fight, please. All right, let me get in a little zone here. Can we get this over with? I'm scared. <laughs> Are you hiding somewhere? Hello? <laughs> this is really creepy. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Oh, I heard some noises in there. Uh -huh. um, anyways, back to Brett. Uh, would he be interested in this conversation? Absolutely. I think he... Again, I mean, he's a creative, so, you know, a musician. Where are you, dude? Where are you, dude? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sounds like they're juicing. Come on, buddy. maybe oh my gosh this is closing in my heart is racing this is crazy let's try, try to talk about brett uh so yeah he's gonna go on the list because i think that we would have definitely have things in common i'm gonna get wiped out here really quick aren't i um 
definitely going to be reference points and all that as far as connecting in pop culture. And I think he would, as a musician, um, appreciate the thought experiment to get his mind in a creative place. So yes, Brett is going on the list, and I will put him there in a moment. Where are you? Where? Oh, he's in that house for sure. The corner of it. Yeah, yeah. Or, no, no, you're, you have to be. Where the heck? Yep, you're going to come out of that house soon, buddy. I just know it. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Uh, mm -mm. Nope. No. Sorry. That's not one that you can be happy about. I won because of someone else's stupidity, or they forgot. They planted themselves in that house somewhere, and had to go get the door. I was ready, though. You saw that I was ready to brawl. Yeah, that was dumb. I don't like that. Um... Oh yeah, put Brett on the list. And then we're down to one. Brett. Alright, Jermaine. On paper, like at first glance, they seem like very similar dudes. Cause I mean, they You've got to, like, kind of look deeper. You know, Brent, Brent, and, Brent and Jermaine. Because um, Brett is definitely more genuinely kind and polite than Jermaine is, I think. Um, but we can look at the criteria here before we jump into the finals. Um, Jermaine, energy level wise, yeah, I think you know, I think he's, he's going to be somewhere in the middle in that spectrum between too hyperactive like Peter Parker and, and too uh, comatose. You know, I would almost assume he he almost strikes me though as someone who could recover a little too quickly, or his kind of not bubbly personality, but like his. I hate using the word weird or odd or whatever, because that actually is what makes people interesting. But his, um, similar to like Kramer, but not as explosive, has just kind of like an outbursty kind of, okay, but it's more weird than Kramer's, and, but it's subdued. But there is something there that could bubble up, I think, and kind of get out um, from behind being over. Uh, let's go. I haven't been to the beach yet today. Let's go over there. Where am I? There we go. So that's something to consider if he makes it to the finals, too. Is that it's the mild thing, but it doesn't eliminate him from making it to the finals. Um, would he be good to the waist now? I think he's gonna have a, a default politeness would he take the evil I think he's so wrapped up in his own brain I know they both have you know break into these like fits of, of song you know as a mechanism, mechanism of the show itself, I don't know if it ever really said whether or not in the reality of the show itself that that's what was something that was happening in there. Yeah. You gotta shoot before I got stuff. That's rude. I know what I'm trying to articulate, but... Yeah. Just, 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 just let me get some juice in me, buddy. So... saying something in? something in? 
Hello. All right, let's go. Um, I don't know. I don't know that, like, he seems like if there was one of the characters who did actually kind of like um, JD in Scrubs, where it was literally, it was supposed, it was portrayed as him breaking into those little fantasy sequences in his brain. I think if one of those characters was doing that with those songs and um, or even if it was just some version of that, it would definitely be a peach of main. I know it did, it did show them both kind of reacting, perhaps before and after, but he just seems like someone who be taken away by that kind of daydream much easier um, than Brett would. And in a setting like that, you know, where we're... Ooh, I can take that. Give me. I think that that imagination in him would be would distract him. You know, he'd be a little too Yeah, I think I'll hold on to that slurp juice. Alright, let's go find a fight. So hopefully maybe I don't plan to get another win, but I don't think that one counts. So that was just someone either afraid to come out or planted themselves and was like, oh, I got Postmates is here, so I gotta go get my stuff. Oh, my nose. Um, anyway, let me go find a fight. So Jermaine, I don't know. I don't see him as one that would take the wheel. I think he'd be a little too caught up in his, his imagination. I think this conversation, yes, he'd be into it. Maybe too much so. Like, we'd be talking about this and then one of those like daydreams or something would get what happened in his brain and he'd be so caught up in that it would be whether or not it's a for sure thing that would happen I think that it's enough of a possibility that it's not there's no certainty like yeah like he'd be I trust in my brain that Brett would definitely be more apt to be in the moment when needed to be. Yes, please. That's what I believe. In this very scientific and very important thought experiment of mine called Brunch Madness. It's science. So I think, is that a person? Is that a thing? Are you? Is that a rift? I want. Let's go for a ride. I like that they look like butterflies. Where to? Where to? Where to? I'm literally right in the middle. I do kind of like this house out here. So, yeah, no Jermaine, I don't think. So, let's take a look. Oops. And the finalists here. Coco, Murray, and Brett in the finals. Yeah, sorry, got a little distracted there. I do love my little graphics. I find them adorable. Yeah, I'll take. What do we have here? Light machine gun. Okay. I'll take it. 
take it? What do you look like? Alright. 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 It's new. Let's try it. New to me, at least. Let's go fight some fools. Let's go. Where are we headed? The hedges. So, let me do that one more time. We're in the finals. Oh, again, we're doing... And now, we're in the finals. Yeah. I'm going to get my money's worth out of those. You know what? So we're looking at Coco, Murray, and Brett. Normally, I, I, I try to end with four, so then I go two versus two, and then do the last two, but we can start with, let's do Coco and Murray. So looking at the criteria, first we have the energy level. I think they're both pretty on par. I'd say, I mean, she's of the people in that show, she's the one with them, has her stuff together the most. Um, but I think both when it comes to having tied one on the night before, this control over it enough, why did the ground rumble? I do like when weird stuff is introduced and not explained in this game. Oh, I wonder if I get to take the Doom hands or the Doom stuff from someone again. That's always fun. I will not let someone win with that. Um, yeah, so Coco and Murray, I think energy level, they're going to be pretty on par. Uh, yeah, I don't think that there's... It leans one way or another with either of them. Did I hear fighting? Let's go there. Where are you? Who's fighting? Can I? Play, please with your fighting times. Um, yeah, so with. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with the droids. Um, yeah, so I think that criteria is a wash between those two. When it comes to the weight staff, both are going to take the wheel, I believe. Does one have an advantage over the other? I think both are genuinely kind and appreciative of what they'd be doing. I think she'd be sweet and take the wheel. It would be Murray, though, that I do think, as I mentioned, that would kind of go out of his way to try to improve their day. Just for some reason, I get that, that vibe with him. And I don't think, I mean, maybe not necessarily with compliments. And even if it was, it wouldn't be in kind of like an appropriate thing or anything super awkward. Um, and I think it definitely gives him, I don't know this gun at all, but I'm going to try to win with it. Like actual win, not, you know. Someone lurks in a building too long and they burst win like that last one. Uh, so I think Murray's got the advantage there. As far as this conversation is concerned, that's that's tough. I think I'd have common ground with both to either really jump out as... I think he seems like someone who'd be excited about the things that he likes more so than her. She seems like she could be like, the person who's like, no, I've never seen a Star Wars before. Yeah, I don't know what a Star Wars is. You know, one of those. No offense if you're one of those. Actually, offense. No, not offense. I don't care. <laughs> hey, where'd that come from? You don't know I'm here. I'm in a bush. Seven left. Should I go find a fight? 
I think Murray's going on. Where's that coming from? I want to snipe one person. Come on. That way? Do it again so I know where you're at. Behind me. There we are. So we're into the final, 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 finals with Murray versus Brett. Should I do it again? What in the actual heck? Well, at least it's outside of the storm circle, so whoever's built this monstrosity has to come out if they're still around. <laughs> Bum that I don't have anything to blow stuff up like that stuff up with. All right. So Murray and Brett, let's let's look at the criteria one more time for the finals. I like it. We'll run it down. We'll go backwards. So. An interest in this conversation and participation in. I think reference points I, I may have more in common potentially with Brett, but he also seems like someone. What the heck was that? Oh, someone got some droids hacked fighting for them. Someone's got a little entourage. Dang it. Should have done that. Maybe I should have hacked the droids. Stop there. Nope. Dang it. This was dumb. There's one. No, they're, they're fighting someone else. I should just leave them. <laughs> They don't know what's going on. That's funny. Um, oh, there's, there's the actual player. Oh, no, that's not the one that has them hacked, though. Come on, man. All right, I got to go. Actually, do some fighting, don't I? There's five left still. Where is everyone? Oh my god, the stupid doom hands. Someone has them. You hear that? I'm definitely going to be playing different games until they nerf that. Like, off and on. Fortnite and maybe some Rogue Company, maybe some Mario Kart. It's just impossible to get a read on... I can understand now why more competitive players than I, I can get why they, they don't take this game seriously when it comes to being truly evenly competitive with stuff like that. And there's going to be more. They're introducing more with different characters. So like Thor and Iron Man and all that, they're all going to have these like introduce these characters and then with them these overpowered um, weapons. So there's stupid Doom Hands person. Here we go. Ah! I had my shot. Where are you? Alright, let's see if we can snipe a little. Ah! Come on! Come on. Come on. Friggin' kid, son of a. There you are. Stop moving. Stop moving. Mm. Where are you? There you are. 
Oh, hey, look at that. Someone else did it, but now they're going to get those weapons. Dang it. I should charge them. Not too late. <laughs> ah, see, if people are so smart, they know I'm terrible with a sniper. Oh, I got him. Okay. What you got? Do you know where I am? Do you know where I am? Ah, son of a... You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Stay behind the tree. They don't know where I am. Ooh. Maybe that's an overpowered weapon. Holy cow. Taking all the toys away from the people. Cannot have it. Cannot. I love this friggin' gun. Holy cow. Alright, there's two of us left. What's going on? Where are we at, kids? Over here? Hide in a bush? Someone else hiding in a friggin' building? This is a pretty amazing gun, I will have to say. Oh yeah, what was I talking about? Murray, 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 Murray and Brett. I think Murray would be more sincerely interested, because he's more enthusiastic about the things that he likes, you know? Are they back there, perhaps? Is this nothing? This gun is amazing. There we go. That's a win. Oof. That gun is kind of amazing. Maybe they put it there to counteract the uh, the doom hands but wow I would much rather have a gun that's like yeah like that than you know because people will have a better chance like you're fighting gun with gun it makes sense in my brain so Murray and Brett I just think that because Murray is more sincerely looking to connect, I think he's he'd be more sincerely and overtly excited about the things that he's a fan of. You know, whatever common ground we end up finding and like talking about um, and debating in this way that I am here. Because Brett's another one of those where he just kind of seems like he'd be kind of like Coco where it's like He's not going to say he's never seen Star Wars, but he's just going to have that kind of not too cool to, to show that he's a fan of something. But in the like, no offense, millennials, but in that younger millennial sense of the term, I work with all of them. So no offense, but it is kind of a common trait to not feel free to show enthusiasm for things that are from pop culture. It has been my experience. I feel that way. So I won't say it is, just it feels that way. I learned that from work. Feel that, rather than just blanket statement that this is the case. Um, so I think because of that, Murray is already two out of three, and then the third is kind of even, so, yeah, let's see, let's see if we can make it official. Goodbye, Coco. Goodbye, Brett. And for this, 
Flight of the Concords version of We have a winner and it is good old friggin Murray Also congratulations me for making those things um, I'm gonna throw in uh, the channel trailer one more time. Um, I'm, I'll probably finish this round um, before I go, but as I mentioned at the top, um, usually I am out in the world covering comic conventions and I kind of want to go to the Authority um, and theme parks and race events like the Star Wars Half Marathon. Um, Obviously, those things I can't do right now. Uh, the world is a little broken, so instead I'm here um, talking about the same things I would while I was there, because it wasn't always just coverage of those things. It would be while they're talking about things that are happening in pop culture. Someone's... Let's get this guy. My sad friend. Someone's gonna come that way. Um, yeah, so I'm here, you know, talking about those same things that I would while I was at those events. Um, instead of having Disneyland behind me or a comic convention behind me, uh, we've got a good old, you know, mediocre truly mediocre Fortnite gameplay. <laughs> um, but just so that you can kind of get a, an idea of what I'm usually doing, I made a little channel trailer, and here it is. There it is. That is what I'm normally doing. But, alas, this has been a lot of fun getting set up, though. Hmm. I do have in my schedule that I'm off, like, this week, vacation, like, not a legit, I had a vacation last week. I should say I had time off that was supposed to be spent last week. Star Wars Celebration. Um, but I had I had the time off. The vacation on the schedule for Twitch is just taking a break from streaming every day. As I had done for five weeks. Um, to kind of just do more connecting with people in this world you know because it's like it's for me it's about engagement and 
not engagement for the sake of I hate that you know that like networking and uh, you know all that stuff I just yes I want you know I would love to have you know a ton of people come by and help me figure out these you know this, this brunch madness you know whenever I have these topics but um, I do love like connecting when I'm not one trying to win um, or at least be competitive in this game and also have this like this little debate so that's been fun I think the biggest discovery that I've had is one there's two one twitch does not know how to recommend channels as they recommended a few that or not. It's just people very, 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 very good at playing a game and had no personality, um, creativity, you know, it's just stale personalities and supremely good gameplay and perhaps some very toxic energy. Uh, no thanks, I'm good someone's... I don't know why people get fixated on those sharks. You lose so much. Even if you're, like, not gonna get eaten, you waste so much ammunition. It's crazy. And you also give away your location. Because people will see you. You're distracted by that shark, and people will fi be able to fixate on you and take you out. But I'll leave that one be. Um, but anyways, yeah, that Twitch is not good at recommending channels. I guess until you start really finding and following and subscribing to ones that are your jam and then they get a little bit better. So um, the best one that community that I've found so far is in uh, Shannon is live, who is Shannon Woodward. Um, she was in, if you don't already know, um, Raising Hope and Westworld and other things. Um, but yeah, such a cool, like, like the stream is great. I mean, I, I was like, there's this actress and she's doing a crossword puzzle on Twitch. And I'm like, that's very intriguing. And, uh, you know, she plays other games as well. I think tonight was Bioshock and, uh, you know, mixes it up. Are you here to fight? Where are you? There you are. Where'd you go? There you are. I state state them something or other. What were you looking at? What were you looking at down there? Anyone? Or are you just supremely confused by where that was coming from? Okay. Uh, yeah, so anyways, that's, she's uh, it's a fun stream. Plays a bunch of different types of games. And then the Discord um, community is just super cool and positive and supportive and creative and all of that. It's one of the first really positive corners of the internet. Um, related to gaming that I found, which is very cool. So definitely check that out. So anyways, yeah, I don't know very loud uh, whether or not I'm going to honor my little vacation time that I put in the Twitch schedule because I was inspired to, you know, to play and stream tonight. We'll see. I may just keep it sporadic and then hop back into the daily thing next week. That might be best. Man, these headphones are so confusing as to where... Oh, there he is. Alright. 
There are people fighting. Let's go sit there. Looks like there's a couple people fixated on this car. <laughs> like a bunch of them, actually. There was someone over here. the gap. Closing the gap. Closing the gap. Closing the gap. Let's do this. Where are you? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Closing the gap. Ah! Change. Ah! Reloading. Reloading. Oh. Ah well. Seven's not bad after one win and then one win. So that's okay. Oof. The one drawback to doing this thought experiment and gaming and everything all at the same time after work is that I'm really awake now. But I guess that's the point, because now I can like see what see what I can get up to creatively um, from here. And uh, maybe I'll write something. I haven't written an article on the website, jasonkeekdom.com, go check it out. And uh, you can see coverage and stuff that I do there as well. There's a lot of good um, A lot of good examples of uh, outside of the trailer that I showed um, of what I'm usually doing out in the world, and uh, you can go through like the comic conventions and different theme parks. They're all categorized like you would have expect on a website, and I can't do too deep of a dive on the website um, or other people's coverage of these things, just because it gives me a little bit of a sad. You know, I miss it. I miss being out there. I miss, I miss anonymous crowds. That's my jam. Is when you're in a crowd and maybe you're with your by yourself, or maybe you're with one or two people. You don't owe anyone around you really anything socially. So when you do, it's like gravy. Um, the social anxiety kicks in for me if it's if there's more than ten people there that I do in some way, socially speaking, to owe something to, um, interactively or whatever, I just, it's uncomfortable. Um, so that's why I love events like, like theme parks and those events and all that kind of stuff. You're around a lot of people and a lot of excitement and, but you can, you know, you can navigate it without having to, without having to, but I do like to interact and talk with people. It's just, when you feel like you need to, um, must, that's when it's like, ooh. yeah, and you can duck out whenever you feel like it, no one cares, anyways, so go check it out, uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all the things, and, um, yeah, thanks for hanging out, and we will see you next time. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Bye.